When you brush your teeth every morning, you're probably thinking about getting rid of plaque, keeping your breath fresh, or avoiding cavities. But what if I told you that your toothpaste might contain a material that's also used in spacecraft, jet engines, and even surgical implants? That material is titanium, specifically a compound called titanium dioxide. You'll see it listed as an ingredient on many toothpaste tubes, but why is it there? What exactly does it do? And should we be concerned about brushing our teeth with something that sounds like it belongs in a rocket rather than in your mouth? Today, we're diving into the fascinating and surprisingly controversial world of titanium in toothpaste. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Titanium dioxide, or TiO2, is a naturally occurring compound made from the element titanium combined with oxygen. It's a bright white pigment that's prized for its ability to scatter light and give a clean, opaque appearance. That's why it's used in everything from paints and plastics to sunscreen and, yes, toothpaste. It's incredibly stable, non-reactive, and resists breaking down under UV light. That makes it an ideal ingredient for adding whiteness and brightness. When it comes to toothpaste, titanium dioxide isn't used to clean your teeth or fight cavities directly. Instead, its main job is aesthetic. It gives toothpaste that pure, brilliant white color that we associate with cleanliness and quality. In reality, titanium dioxide is in your toothpaste for mostly cosmetic reasons. Toothpaste manufacturers add it to create a thick white paste that looks appealing when squeezed onto your toothbrush. This white equals clean perception plays a powerful psychological role. Even though the color of your toothpaste doesn't affect how well it cleans your teeth, a whiter appearance can make consumers feel like the product is fresher, stronger, or more effective. Without titanium dioxide, Many toothpaste brands would be off-white, translucent, or even slightly yellow, natural colors that might not sell as well. It's a marketing tactic that works, and titanium dioxide is the industry standard for achieving that desired look. The science behind it is pretty interesting. Titanium dioxide is incredibly good at scattering visible light. This scattering effect makes materials look opaque and bright. Even a small amount of TiO2 can dramatically change the color and texture of a product. In toothpaste, it acts as a pigment that reflects light, giving it that familiar bright white shine. It's not absorbed into your body when you use it because the particles are too large to pass through your gums or oral tissues. It simply rinses out with the rest of the paste after brushing. But this is where things start to get a little more complicated. In recent years, scientists and health organizations have started paying closer attention to the form of titanium dioxide used in consumer products, especially nanoparticles. These are ultra-tiny particles, thousands of times smaller than the width of a human hair. Some toothpaste brands use nano-sized titanium dioxide because it provides an even smoother, more consistent whitening effect. But here's the concern. When titanium dioxide is broken down to the nanoscale, its properties can change. Some studies suggest that nanoparticles may be able to penetrate cells or tissues and potentially cause harm at the molecular level. However, the research is still ongoing and there's no definitive evidence yet that titanium dioxide in toothpaste, nano or otherwise, poses a serious health risk when used as intended. Different countries take different stances on the use of titanium dioxide in food and cosmetics. For example, the European Union banned the use of titanium dioxide as a food additive in 2022 due to concerns over long-term exposure, especially in nanoparticle form. 
France even went a step further and banned it from food products entirely. However, it's still allowed in cosmetics and toothpaste because it's not meant to be ingested. In the United States, the FDA still permits titanium dioxide in both food and oral care products, provided it meets certain purity standards and does not exceed a specific concentration. The general consensus among major health agencies is that titanium dioxide in toothpaste is safe for use, particularly since you're not swallowing it. For the average consumer, brushing with toothpaste that contains titanium dioxide isn't something you need to panic about. The amount used is small and you're not swallowing it. Plus, there's currently no conclusive evidence that it causes harm in this form. Still, if you prefer to take a cautious approach, there are plenty of titanium dioxide-free toothpaste options available on the market. These often use natural or plant-based colorants and focus more on ingredients like baking soda, charcoal, or clay for whitening and cleansing. If whitening is your main goal, it's worth noting that titanium dioxide doesn't actually whiten your teeth. It just makes the toothpaste itself white. For real tooth whitening effects, you'll want to look for ingredients like hydrogen peroxide or baking soda. These compounds actively break down stains on your enamel. Titanium dioxide, by contrast, is purely visual. It won't make your teeth look any whiter after brushing. So if you're aiming for a brighter smile, focus on the active ingredients, not just the look of the paste. The presence of titanium dioxide in your toothpaste is one of those things you probably never questioned before. But now that you know, it's a great example of how chemistry, consumer psychology, and public health intersect in everyday products. It's not just about function. It's also about form, appearance, and perception. That white paste on your toothbrush every morning is part science, part marketing, and part tradition. And titanium, believe it or not, is at the center of it all. So the next time you squeeze out a ribbon of toothpaste, Take a moment to appreciate the high-tech pigment that makes it shine so brightly. Whether or not you choose to keep using toothpaste with titanium dioxide is up to you. But at least now, you know the why behind it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.